what would it take for you to stay calm during these times right now so that you don't waver, so you don't get wishy-washy and start bumping up against the rails? Like what, what's it gonna take? And I would say is being cautious because we talked about yesterday um, and we talked about wisdom and going after it. There's one thing about going after wisdom, but if you got no like accountability, no guardrails, no boundaries set up, it's easy to get off track and easy to put yourself in some dangers. And that's the last thing I want to really hone in on. And, and I'm gonna talk to you about this a little bit. So I hope you hang on here with me. Thanks, Vinny. Welcome, Cynthia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate it. Listen, all I ask in return, if you liked this, if you took the time, I know you can't get this time back, so I appreciate it. But in the times where we could be focused on all the, the negativity and all of the, the doom and gloom and all the stress, things that add stress to our lives, is if I can add a bit of encouragement to you, that's why I'm doing this every day. Uh, indefinitely, every day, 8 a.m. daily dose of encouragement, and that's my encouragement. So we're talking about guardrails if you're just jumping on here. And you know, we talked about the it being basically a barrier from going off in those dangerous areas. And I would say is is when we don't waver, what does that look like? That means not to be wishy-washy, right? It means not to be a hypocrite, right? Is to, you know, say, don't worry, don't worry. And then all you do is worry to yourself. To also be filled with fear is one thing, you know, you can be, and I experience sometimes, don't get me wrong, I'm cautious, but I'm not necessarily fearful. I'm fearful because I'm really leaning more on my faith now than I've ever before. And again, this is not a, necessarily a faith talk, but that's just for me personally. And then the other thing is, um, you know, what does it take? It, it also takes not reverting back to old ways. And I can tell you one of those things is when people come into and why I can relate to this, like I'm so dialed into this with people is that people rely on me to be their guardrails. They rely on me for putting boundaries in place for good and guardrails. I asked a question yesterday about if, it, if you needed to lose 10 pounds or if, if you could lose 10 pounds in a month, how many months would it take for you to get to your goal, to get to your ideal weight? And again, now this is just, we're just talking numbers and talking about weight. And there's much more obviously to the fitness thing for that. But I got a lot of responses and it was great. And I love engaging and, and commenting and sharing um, and trying to do my part to help. But I would say is, is in that, the biggest thing, the biggest thing, everybody looks at the exercise. Everybody looks at the nutrition. Everybody looks at the components that go into it. But you know what the number one thing is? The really, truly, probably difference between why people succeed. There's a couple of things, but the difference between why people succeed when they actually have guardrails and accountability and boundaries is that's it. They have accountability, guardrails, and boundaries. Most of the time, people that try to lose weight and get in better shape and try to get on a healthier path, they don't have any guardrails. They don't have any boundaries or no, really no accountability.